Ah, good day everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Vampire! So I'm here at my Earth Temple because it's just gorgeous and I love it so much. But also because I need my raptors! I only have one raptor out of the seven that I can get. And I need more. But I don't want to get them myself. I want other people to get it for me. And that's why I'm on the hunt today for the crown. As you guys know, Lizzie, the Ocean Queen, is the emperor of the server. And the only way to get the crown from another empire is to find it while they're offline or to kill them and steal it from them or just trade for it or do whatever you can to get it. And well, guess what? I'm the only one online. So now is my chance to go and hunt for the crown of all crowns. Uh, was that what it's called? I don't really know. But we're gonna head to the Ocean Empire and try and steal the crown that is rightfully mine. My gosh, I deserve it. It's mine. Give it to me. Give it to me now. I need horses to make into raptors. So let's um let's check in on our area. Let's make sure everything's all good, situated. All my villagers have ran away. They have fled my empire. It's kind of sad actually. Uh, it all happened. You know what? I think it was when Zornoth was here. I think he might have done something to cause them all to get like this. But there is one who is, um, he's a, a zombified villager. So this is my only villager I have left. I feel like we should probably repopulate, get our tiger prince and this guy together and see if we can. Girl, you are so loud. Can you guys hear Sakura? I haven't got the crown yet. It's like, have you got the crown? Hello? I haven't got the crown. I don't want to eat any more cake, Sakura. Sakura, stop it. I haven't got the crown. Don't call me stupid. Um, listen, Tiger Blood Prince, we are going to need to, uh, you know, do a little breeding, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, let's head to the Ocean Empire and see if we can find the crown. But before we head to the Ocean Empire, I do wanna give a huge thank you to our sponsor, and that is Casetify. So let me tell you a little bit about Casetify. Casetify has hundreds of phone cases with all different styles and prints to fit your vibe. You can also personalize a case with your favorite font and design a layout for a truly custom case. Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Gosh. Oh, I'm obsessed with these. I love the customization of this. You guys know I love going to London. So it looks like I have a London ticket in my phone case. Always, always ready to go. Always got a ticket ready. Mooney, that's you. I got you a phone case. Yep. I think this is the one I'm going to put on my phone. And I love the butterfly one. It's so cute. And then I got this tempered glass screen protector. The crazy thing about the cases is that their new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recyclable and plant-based material and come in 100% recyclable packaging. How awesome is that? And their QI Tech 2.0 technology offers drop protection up to 9.8 feet and work with wireless charging and are 5G compatible. The cases also feature Defensify, an antimicrobial coating killing 99% of bacteria. So goodbye germs. Oh my God, it's so cute. All right, it's time to get spicy. I'm about to drop my phone and test out this drop test. Oopsie, did I drop that? <gasps> Screen's totally fine, we're good. Camera's good, no cracks. Love it. Also, go to casedefy.com slash joey to get 15% off your order. Isn't it just so stunning? I love it so much. Mwah. Okay, let's head to the Ocean Queen's Empire. Oh, wait, let's sleep first. We gotta go none nights because it's getting dark-sided, McGee, and I don't want to have any enemies, you know, getting in my way of finding the crown. I wonder how hard it's gonna be. Like, am I gonna be able to find this crown or nah? I don't know. I'm also headed to England where I will be for the next five weeks. So, or so, maybe longer, I don't know. So this video may be part American, part British background. <laughs> so hopefully I can find this damn crown before my flight. Alrighty, so I'm pretty sure the rules state that you have to leave the crown somewhere in the vicinity of your empire. So I think we're gonna have to check all possibilities, all islands, any crowns? I don't know if they can be in chests or if they have to be like displayed like out in the open, like on a stand of some sort. Oh, <gasps> what's this? Where does this go? What is this? 
<gasps> if I were to hide a crown, I hide it all the way down here. Oh my God, it, it goes so deep. What is happening? Oh my God, there's definitely something down here. <gasps> you guys, I think I found the crown. Lizzie probably hid it in the coolest place possible. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. How deep does this go? Do we think that this is a path that takes us to the crown? This is definitely a path to the crown. I can feel it. Lizzie goes over the top with everything. Wait, this seems to be getting really far. I think it has to stay in your property. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Okay, but now I'm just curious where this goes to at this point. Like, it's clearly not the crown. I should have gotten a minecart. I just didn't have one on me. Oh, I can fly. Whee! Ow. Oh no. Do I have cake on me? <gasps> I don't have any cake. Oh wait, maybe my sugar box I do. Yeah, I do. Whoa, it goes through the desert too? Whee! Oh my gosh, this is so This is the most extra thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Are you kidding me, Lizzie? It doesn't stop. The themes just keep coming. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, see, this is, this is why, this is why, okay, I don't, I don't care to know what's on the other side of that. Um, yeah, that was terrifying. I saw my life flash before my life. Whew, okay, well, we're going home. Actually, we're not going home, we're just going to Lizzie's. We'll never know where that led to. Let me know in the comments where that went to. And if it was the crown, I'm a dumbass. Oh, back up the long ass spiral staircase. Okay, let's continue this search. Huh. <sighs> I made it. Okay. Honestly, I feel like we just need to check her main base because if I were Lizzie, I'd probably hide it. I need more cake. She must have some extra cakes laying around that I could have, right? Probably. Excuse me, sir. Anything in here? Maybe she's hiding the crown in a barrel. Nope, not in the barrels. She's a crafty one. She's a very crafty queen. Okay, I need to stop here for a little slice of cake. I'm sure she won't mind if I just borrow a piece of cake. Okay, I'm gonna check just in her main area. Like, I bet she hides them with her ocelotls. <gasps> Hello, children. Do you happen to know where a crown might be? Perhaps it's just in here. I feel like she would hide it in this. What is that? Oh, it's flips head. I was like, what the heck is that? Do you guys happen to know where I could find? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we got some dead fish in here. I'm not seeing any crown in here. I don't know if they have to be in a chest or what it has to be. Probably should have figured that out before. Okay, let's check this layer. Okay, maybe in her chest room? She's got some sneaky furnaces. I feel like she wouldn't just hide it in one of her regular chests. She's way more creative than that <laughs> what if she had a chest that literally said like crown <laughs> you know sometimes hiding it in plain sight is clever enough i'm pretty sure lizzie's the only one with my head on the server hmm okay there's no crown in here maybe in her bedroom if i were to hide a crown i would hide it in my bedroom <gasps> wait where's this go oh it goes down mm -hmm. oh maybe she hid it under her bed nope Hiding it under the bed would have been a good idea. Oh! oh! My love. I miss you. Zornath, please send me some inspiration. If you were to hide the crown, where would you be? Perhaps in this tower. Or maybe she was going to hide it in the tower that I was going to build for her. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, her map room. But it was lagging the server, so she had to stop the map. How sad is that, you guys? She put so much work into this, and then she, she couldn't use it. That chandelier is epic. Is this her throne room? <gasps> it's quite dinky. Maybe she hid it under the fire. Hmm. I'm not seeing a crown anywhere. All right, we got to head back to the bakery. I'm hungry again. Maybe she hid it in one of the islands. Cake does not satiate me long enough. I'm hungry constantly. Oh, you know what? Maybe she hid it in Joel's island because she got the crown from Joel. <gasps> oh my god, that scared me. I thought that was him. Not here. Damn, she's good at hiding this. It's going to be so easy for people to find my crown when I'm offline. 
How did she make a little Joel flying like that? That is so cute. All right. So far, this is not looking so good, you guys. This is not looking good. Maybe it's inside here. Hello, villagers. I will kill all of you guys if you don't tell me where this crown is immediately. Come on. Show me. Show me where. You got any hidden buckets anywhere? Oh, a chest. Oh, lots of fortunes. Nothing. Guys, I am not good at this. She's really good at hiding stuff. And I'm hungry again. I need more cake. Oh, my wings. I'm so sorry. One of you guys needs to be sacrificed so I can get experience so I can fly somewhere. Listen, you don't have much of a profession. I don't think they get too mad. You're being guarded. I can't. I'll go kill some fish. How about that? Here, fishy, fishy. Give me some experience, please. Do fish give experience? Yes, they do. <gasps> ah! Yes, give me that experience, you drowned fools. Oh, I love that I have underwater breathing forever. Maybe this is where she hid the stuff. Underneath. That would be very smart. Oh, maybe it's in the shipwreck. I bet it's down here. This would be the perfect place to hide the crown. Oh, where does this go? This girl has secret passages. Oh, this is where Deal With Destiny took place. Oh my God, I'm such a big fan. I'm such a big fan. Wow, I feel like I'm on a set. This is so magical. I bet it's in one of these barrels. Come on, Deal With Destiny. A deal with Joey, how about that? Give me the crown. Something, something, snatch the crown. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to take a little break from this hunt. And I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. <sighs> I need a, I need to reconvene and think about this. Think long and hard. If I were Lizzie, where would I have this crown? I'll be back. Possibly tomorrow. Possibly in England. <laughs> we'll see. Well, hello everybody. <laughs> it's been a couple days and I'm here in England, which is so crazy because in England is where I started this series and we're back. So I'm in Lizzie's bedroom. And I'm still looking for this crown. I feel like it's gotta be somewhere. We've checked under the bed. We've checked in her chest room. We've checked down below. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else that I haven't looked that, oh, I haven't checked in here. Let's see. Her throne, wait, did we check the throne room? I feel like we did. <gasps> we checked in there. Oh, I don't know you guys. Let's check on here. Maybe the area where I died. Oh, what's this? There's a hole. Is this the tank? <gasps> oh my god, she's online, she's online. Wait, this is good, this is good. If we can see, oh my god, if we can see where she logged in. Let's see if we can find out where she logged in because she has to she has to stay logged off to get the crown. Hi. Just building at my base. Oh my god, she's right there, she's right there, she's right there. Wait, so that means that's where the crown is. The crown is somewhere down there. All right, let's go, let's go get it, let's go get it. <laughs> just kidding oh. i'm here Hi. and where's the crown it's not on your head that means it must be over here somewhere uh, <laughs> hey. hi hi joey give it here and give it now look i don't have it it's not on my person currently oh. it is in a very protected place we need to find it we need to find it okay i know it's somewhere around here because you'd log off where it was hidden wouldn't you hmm. that is a very smart deduction mm-hmm Mm, I can go back to eating steak again. Where is it? <laughs> Why does everyone hate the cake rule so much? I feel it. <gasps> You'll never find. Give oh. it here. <gasps> oh Death no! Death be with you. My Die! Yes! <laughs> it's mine! It is mine! My crown! Bow I can't down. believe you killed my villager, Joey. What were you thinking? This is war. <laughs> this is an act of war. That is a war crime. You've broken the Geneva Conventions. <laughs> Geneva Conventions. Well, you can take that up with the ruler of the server. Because guess what? I'm the ruler now. Oh, ruler, that crown looks so great on you. Please have mercy on me. What is your rule? My rule is everyone on the server must bring an offering of a horse. Not to kill it, <laughs> to... but to, to turn into a raptor. I have a spell to turn it to raptor. Oh. So I need a horse. Wow. Yeah. That's a cool rule. I love that. Yeah. So go find me a rare horse, Lizzie, and maybe I will go easy on you. 
Okay, great master of the server. That's right. Go forth. <laughs> be gone. No, no, this is my empire. You be gone. Oh, right. Okay. Actually, they're all my empires now. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Well, 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 I'm the ruler. I'm the king of all kings. And no one's ever going to get my crown. It is mine forever and ever. Until someone tries to get it from me, which they won't. Because... I'm going to hide it. I can't wait to get my horses and turn them into raptors. So let's go home. Let's build our altar and let's get our spell ready so we can turn these horses into damn raptors because there's six more that I need to get. <sighs> yes. <gasps> Joey the Raptor King. Wait, where am I going? Is this the right way? I don't even know anymore. I have one more rocket to get home. This is bad. This is very bad. The king of all kings, should not have to worry about such things. Am I going the right way? That was my last rocket. Here's to hoping I can get home safe. What is this refuge I must take? It's God's empire. Ow, my wings have broken as well. I can't be seen like this. The king of all kings walking home. Oh, don't tell anybody, please you guys. Don't tell anybody that I had to walk home. This is so embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed. Now, where is the portal? Ah, oh, and I can go back to eating steak. Ah, oh, delicious. This, this is where it all began. This is where I was set up to make it seem like it was me, but it wasn't me. Yes, I have rockets again. Okay, but I do need to go to XP farm and get this elytra back up. And then when I come back, we are going to work on our raptor converter so see you in a bit my wings are repaired and i'm ready to head over to my temple and show you guys my idea so what i have in store is something that i've seen a few times on the server and i actually the first time i ever saw it was in lizzie's ex-life video where she made like this creepy house thing that had a pit of purpleness. <laughs> it's like a rift almost. So I'm going to make a yellow rift here in the center and I make that with a bunch of layers of glass with air in between. And so the shape I'm going to do, let's actually find the perfect center. Okay, it looks like this is the yeah, this is definitely the center. So this is the center. Where is the center center? Like where's the middle? Okay, I think this is the center. So let's actually, let's make the shape. Okay, so this will be the center shape, I think. Do we like that? Or should we go one more? Let's see. I think it's too small. I think we should make it bigger. Okay, this is the shape. So I have to go down uh, 18 blocks from this. And then I start layering the, well, I first have like a layer of light source. So I'll do glowstone with a carpet layer. And then I will do glass, air, glass, air, glass, air. So let me work on that off camera and I will show you guys the results afterwards. Actually, you know what? I'll show you when I first start and then, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, bring it back. Okay, it is very yellow down here. <laughs> so I've started on one of the walls and I've created the whole floor. I put a bunch of glowstone with carpet over it. And so now comes the layer of stained glass yellow. I went with yellow just because I feel like it, it fits the vibe of the earth temple. So we do this, then we leave another gap here. So let's do two and then yeah, so leave a gap and then a layer of glass. And it's basically supposed to make it feel like there's depth. I don't know. It does this cool effect. I'll show you after it's all done. So we'll skip to that right now. <sighs> it feels right. It feels correct to eat steak again. Oh, delicious. No more cake. No more calories. So I have finished the you know the ceremonial sacrificial place for the raptors it looks like this it's kind of hard to tell because the sun is directly overhead but you kind of get a sense of there's depth to this you'll see it later 
<laughs> when it's not so bright out. But I surrounded it with some candles because I feel like that's just extra spooky. So I will bring the raptors in here. They will sit in here and I will cast a spell. I'll light all the candles, make sure they're all lit, uh, do some magic, and then they will turn into my raptors. So let's take a look from up above the world so high and see how it's looking. Ooh, it definitely looks like it's a portal to like some other dimension like i'm drawing power from it so i think that's a real cool it's like a chasm of some sort oh i can't wait for the new arrivals to get here <laughs> well you guys i think i'm going to end the episode here and i will just wait until i get my horses to do the sacrificing so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please give it a thumbs up and until next time i'll see you next time good damn